ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, we finally have retrained you bells, brand new you bell support. Ladies and gentlemen, this is awesome. This pack art is awesome. Phantom Nightmare is here. And oh my God, I feel like I'm back in 2008, just starting to go to locals. I've already read this new you bell support and spoiler alert, this new you bell support actually seems pretty fucking good, ladies and gentlemen. Like I I'm I'm really, really excited for this. So let's just dive on into it. Be sure to smash the everlitten boo-boo stain off that like and subscribe button for me. Uh also, yes, I like I said, I did just wake up, so I'm still trying to kind of get into first gear here with all these BS ads on the screen. So anyway, uh this is Spirit of You Bell, level 10 dark fiend effect monster, zero attack and defense. You can only use the first and second effect of this card's name once per turn. So when an opponent's monster declares an attack, you can special summon this card from your hand. So right off the gate, uh, they're, they made a Spirit of Neos type of monster, which is fine. If this card is special summoned, you can take one spell or trap from your deck that mentions you bell and either add it to your hand or set it. This card is insane. Yes, the opponent has to attack, and in 2023, that's not maybe really going to happen all that much. Because, you know, the opponent may just have some kind of negate or something. But just in general, when it's special summoned, because it is a U-Bell monster, then you take a spell or trap from your deck that mentions U-Bell and add it to your hand or set it. Cannot be destroyed by battle. Also, you take no battle damage from battles involving this card. If this card is destroyed, you can special summon one of your U-Bell that is banished or in your hand deck or grave. This card is nuts. Notice that it just says when it's destroyed. So back in the day, the way that you bell decks would function is that since they couldn't be destroyed by battle or anything, you could like dark hole your own field to pop your you bell and then bring out like its its second or third form. Um, so you could just dark hole your field, pop the spirit, and then get out another you bell. And then because you bell had grinder golem in the anime, and <laughs> my dad used to play Grinder Golem before Grinder Golem was actually good in his like remove brainwashing shit decks. They retrained Grinder Golem and it's now called Geist Grinder Golem. So it's a level 8 Dark Fiend effect monster, 3000 attack, 300 defense. You can only special summon Geist Grinder Golems once per turn. You can reveal one U Bell monster in your hand, special summon this card from your hand to your opponent's field. Then you could special summon the revealed monster. Once per turn during damage calculation, if this card battles a U Bell monster, your opponent gains 3000. So since it's going to be on the opponent's field, you're going to be the one that gains 3000. If you special summon U Bell while this card's in your grave, you could special summon this card to your opponent's field. So Yes, you're giving the opponent a monster, but this is significant because when you attack with you bell, the opponent's going to take 3,000 and you're going to gain 3,000. And then once you drop out of you bell, you can put the grinder golem back on the opponent's field. So th this, this card's absolutely nutty. Like just from these first few support cards, it almost makes me wonder. I mean, I've already read everything, but still like I, I wonder if like you bell decks are going to kind of pivot and be like weird, like... Uh, hybrid, hybrid like burn decks i wonder if like that's something that we could potentially see um but either way to see grinder golem retrain is, is just awesome and notice that it says battles not attack so you can attack into this with your u bell uh and then we have samsara regenerating lotus and yes spoiler alert they got a freaking fusion baby it's so dope so samsara lotus you can only use the first second and third effect of this card's name once per turn you contribute this card special summon one you bell monster from your deck they just got a fucking Lone Fire Blossom, ladies and gentlemen. Any deck that gets a Lone Fire Blossom-esque monster is just instantly, like, ten times better than the rest of the stuff in the room. Like, this is insane that they now have a Lone Fire Blossom. Like, you might be thinking, Avery, it's you, Bell, like, whatever. But with this new support, like, I feel like you, Bell, can actually be somewhat of a competent deck now. So anyway, uh, during your opponent's turn, when a monster effect is activated, while you control a U-Bell monster, quick effect, you contribute this card, that effect becomes destroy one U-Bell monster on the field. During your end phase, if you control U-Bell and this card's in your graveyard, you can take this card and either add it to your hand or special summon it. So you summon it out, use its lone fire blossom effect, summon out U-Bell, then at the end phase, since you control U-Bell, you can summon it back out, and you now have an effect interruption, similar to like the Chimera stuff, except this has to be on the field, to where now... The opponent activates a monster effect. You can just tribute it, and it turns into destroy a Bell monster on the field. Like that's like dark level esque, like discarding stuff, like effect changing at like that kind of level. And th this this card's just insane. Uh, then we have the fusion. Ubel das Ewig Libby Watcher. It's German, so I probably 
just butchered it, but it's fine. Level 12 Dark Fiend Effect Monster, zero attack and defense, requires one Ubel monster plus one or more effect monsters on the field. You can only use the first effect of this card's name once per turn. If this card is fusion summoned, you can inflict 500 damage to your opponent for each fusion material used for its summon. That's going to be important in a second, because this thing's a really insane super poly target. Cannot be destroyed by battle or by card effects. Also, you take no battle damage from battles involved in this card. That's fine. If this card battles an opponent's monster at the end of the damage step, inflict damage to them equal to that monster's attack, and if you do, banish it. Wow. So, 500 damage for for each fusion material used. So, at the very least, you're doing 1,000. Plus, you're doing damage to them at the end of the damage step. Like, oh my god. So then we have Nightmare Pain, which I don't know what this is a retrain of. I think it's a retrain of maybe some sort of equipped card from Phantom Darkness. Because if you notice, like, like even with this card, Mature Chronicle, these are all retrains. Like, even the Grinder Golem, they're all retrains of monsters that came out in Phantom Darkness. Because Yubel came out in Phantom Darkness back in 08. You can only use the first effect of this card's name once per turn. During your main phase, you can destroy one dark monster in your hand or face up field. And if you do, add one Yubel or one card that mentions it from your deck to your hand except Nightmare Pain. While you control any Yubel monsters, all opponent's monsters must attack them if able. Your opponent takes any battle damage you would have taken from battles involving your Yubel monsters instead. This card doesn't seem very good. Um, like, the opponent's not going to attack. They're going to, you know, make link plays. They're going to go access code and pop your shit. Or, like... You know, they're, they're going to wipe your board first before, like, any of this stuff ever comes up. And then we have Mature Chronicle. I, I guess it got a glow up. <laughs> so this is a continuous spell. You can only use the second effect of this card's name once per turn. Each time you bell monster monsters and or monster monsters that mentions you bell a special summon, place one Chronicle counter on this card. You can remove up to five Chronicle counters from cards you control to activate one of these effects. Special summon a bell from your grave. Add one of your Banish cards to your hand. Banish one card from your deck. Pop a card on the field. Or add one super polymerization from your deck to your damn hand. This is insane, ladies and gentlemen. Like, each time you bell monster monsters and or monster monsters that mentions you bell a special summon, like, you can easily get five counters on this thing. Guaranteed. Like, <clears throat> you activate this and you summon the Simsara Lotus. You tribute the Lotus for, like, any you bell. And now this instantly has one counter. So, like, once you get to five, then you just add Super Poly. This deck is playing three copies of Super Poly, no matter what. Because with Super Poly, you can Super Poly the opponent's entire board of monsters to make this fusion as long as you have a Ubel. So you establish the Ubel, and if the opponent has, like, six monsters, you go Super Poly, you fuse up everything into this. Because this is one or more effect monsters. This is insane. And then finally, the Continuous Trap, Eternal Favorite. So Continuous Trap, you can activate one of these effects, but you can only use each of the following effects this card's name once per turn. You either special summon one of your Ubel monsters that is banished or in your grave. Neither player can activate cards or effects when special summon. Or if you control Ubel, then you can ditch a card, send this face-up card from your spell and trap zone to the grave, fusion summon one fusion monster from your extra deck using monsters from either field as material, including a Ubel monster. So it's not super poly levels, but still being able to use monsters from either field, you can use this trap card as like a type of interruption while the opponent's trying to build their board and make the fusion. So I, th this is going to be played in like some sort of sub engine. It'll be interesting to see if like people start playing stuff like Limit Reverse again in their Ubel decks because you could just revive Ubel from the grave. Um, I'm interested to see if there's any more, like, support for this coming down the pipeline or if this is going to be it, like, Phantom Nightmare set-wise. Um, I don't know if they're going to be revealing any more at this point. This may just be everything. But I'm excited. I'm going to start messing around with this stuff once it gets in a dueling book and all that. Um, this stuff seems really good. Like, is it going to be Tier 0 or Tier 1? No. But, like, Tier 2? Yeah. Like, of course, with Ubel support, it was basically just... It can only go up from here because we only ever had Neos Wiseman, Neos Kluger. Like, we only had a couple of things. And now this, like, really brings everything home. I don't think Neos Kluger and all that's going to see play because those cards are just kind of garbage. Um, but we'll we'll have to see because I don't think this stuff says or mentions you, Bell. So you can't cheese out Neos Wiseman. Yeah, because, like, none of this stuff says ignoring summoning conditions. So you can't cheese out Neos Wiseman. So, but that's fine. That, that card's kind of doo-doo. Thank you guys for watching, and I will see you in the next video.